Hello, I'm Mrs McDonald, Duncan Riggs Secondary School's Autism Champion, and I'm here on Autism Awareness Week to ask one of our sixth year students to see uh, how autism uh, is for him, what his experiences are like living with autism. So, Hi Z, what I would like to ask you is how you would explain autism to another person? Um, well, the way I explain autism is that it's very similar to being in a completely different country where there's a new language that everyone else seems clued in on except me. Um, it, it is, there are some words that still translate. People find it hard to understand them and I find it hard to understand them. There are some words that still translate. People find it hard to understand them and I find it hard to understand them and it can often also feel like if I don't act the same as everyone else then I'll just be severely judged for it so it's mm -hmm. just kind of stressful. So you're trying to figure out how to act and um, when that doesn't work? How, how to act in a world that tells me to be myself but being myself isn't acceptable. Well how does your autism affect you generally outside uh, of school? I really struggle with maintaining eye contact. I'll usually, a, a good coping mechanism I have for it is to look at people's mouths. Mm -hmm. um, that way I can track what they're saying and it's still high enough that people think I'm looking at their eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and the other issue is, is talking to people. If I'm not comfortable with the person, I'll over articulate and mm -hmm. um, try to cut off conversations quickly. And sometimes talking to new people is something that everyone is nervous about. Do you just find it an extra level? I find it difficult how intense talking to someone can be. It, it feels way too personal and it's not something I'm always comfortable with. So how does it affect you, your autism, when you're at school? Is there certain um, ways? In school, I find uh, tasks with structure a lot easier. I like things like maths and hospitality nice because there's always like a formula to follow to get results. Yeah. Um, other subjects that I don't do so well with is things like English, where I need to read into context and understand the character's emotion via communication. And, and as someone with a communication <laughs> disability, that's pretty hard. So um, the tasks that uh, are given to everyone in English uh, are really quite complex for you to get perspective on do you think yeah yeah to, to do the, the subject I, I just had to like learn what they were wanting me to answer rather than learn how to do it right. what about your peers and people like your teachers do you think they generally have a good understanding of autism i feel like they know what autism is um but whether or not they understand it or understand how it affects me or what I'm going to do because of it, um, I feel is a, a still a very grey area. Mm -hmm. um, Do you think the level of knowledge about autism is improving over time um, or is it just an, is it just more of an awareness than an actual understanding? It's yeah, they're they're very it's very aware. People often look at me and, and expect me to be like the people they see on TV like Sheldon Cooper or, <laughs> or Rain Man and I'm not like that. It's mm -hmm. it presents so differently in everyone else. It's a spectrum disorder. Yeah. So I each think the person with autism, you have to take them as they are. And for whatever reason, as, as common in these shows, um, people feel the need to treat me as a child almost and surprise me a lot, um, which is really frustrating because I'm 17 years old and I'm very independent on my own. Mm -hmm. But when I introduce myself as autistic, it's very kind of, oh, so you're not, you're like mentally a child and that's, that's not true. <laughs>